Oh my god. I bend over all day at work. Oh. There's no curvatures here. I like that. This one's slightly more aggressive. Ow. Hold. No curvatures here. That one was like really crazy. And your hip down like this. I can't crack my own back. Oh, nice. Okay, we're slightly lower on the right. I like that. I spit in your face. Like a new woman. Oh. Unlock your full potential at Crack Addicts. More muscle tension here. Okay. Because I bend over all day at work. I do facials and massages and stuff like that. I've had things going on with like internal organs that affected the back pain that put me in the hospital. So okay. probably a 10. No, heel strike, mid stance, and toe off are okay. It just look like, it looks like a little eversion. Pronation happening on the left. And with that, and sometimes on the left, there was some e inversion going on to counter the eversion on the right. That most likely points to an IN. Uh, the knees come together, maybe just a slight genuvalgum. Yeah, there is definitely a genuvalgum on the left. <laughs> and a little bit on the right, too. The knees are definitely both pointed inwards as well. So we should see some rotations in the pelvis. Very gentle scale on the top of your spine. Okay, I'm going to do a temperature scan with the back of my hands. Nice and cool down here, actually, and symmetrical. Not too much on the right or the left. The muscles on the right side of your spine are definitely more prominent, prominent, prominent and sensitive. Oh, they're sensitive, too. The ticklish, or...? Yeah. Right there. Certainly has some tension here, that's for sure. Okay, I'm gonna palpate the SI joints. Okay, left, right, left, right. Is one of these more tender than the other? Um, I guess the right. Okay, ready? Right, left. Right. This is deep, this is S4. All right, you're gonna feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings right here. Okay, we're slightly lower on the right side versus the left. Okay, looking from the top. Feet are even, that's good, and there's really no accentuation from the left or right. So, so your right one is either forward or your left one is back. We'll see. I'm going to palpate the top of the glutes here, and the tonicity is equal. Go ahead and, we're going to check for scoliosis first. Go ahead and bend forward and touch your toes. All right? No curvatures here. It's nice and straight. We do have a little bit of a dip here. Go ahead and stand back up. Right here, right where that ticklish spot was. We have, uh, we have a little bit of sway back here. So a little bit of hyperlordosis. Your pelvis is tilted slightly like this. So you could practice the pelvic tuck. All right, let's test and see how the sacrum is moving. Let's see if this is stuck on the left side. All right, go ahead and let your arms relax and then bend forward and touch your toes. Go to come back up. Okay, now do the right side. Okay, back up. And again, asymmetrical movement there. I'm gonna spray it, it's gonna be slightly cold. This is a scraping tool, it's gonna get hot. Okay.
and out, following the breath down, shoulders sinking in, gentle, gentle, gentle. Nice. Get one more deep breath in and out. <laughs> okay. Let's give it a try. Deep breath in, far in as you can go. Shoulders relaxing as you breathe out. <laughs> okay, lift this right leg up in the air. Good, down. Okay, left. Down. Okay, right. Down. Left. Down. Right. Down. Which side was more difficult? Uh, I feel like the right side. Follow your breath, okay? okay? As you breathe out, I'm gonna stretch your shoulders up in this direction and your hips down like this, and then we're gonna push down like that. Let's give that a try again. Take, go and take a deep breath in. There's more. Out. Shoulders. Good. That was awesome. And now. Good. Shoulders. Laying back. Nice. And gentle breathing. We're going to start on the right side here. Go let your head relax, shoulders relax. Cheyenne, good. I'm going to follow your breath. And then at the end of your breath, we just do a little push like that, okay? Just like the other adjustments. There's no pain or anything. Good. Good. Nice and gentle. Nice. <laughs> Okay, nice and gentle, sinking in. Good, we're gonna let this all go. Good, breathing in through your nose. And out. Good, let it go, let it sink. Good, let it sink, 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 sink. these two points you connect the two in the middle is where you begin looking for the ileocecal valve yours is right there it's active right now it's probably really tender huh kind of yeah <laughs> all right so i'm gonna go back to this ileocecal valve I'm gonna use this towel to support your neck. Okay, you okay with that? Okay, Cheyenne, as you breathe out, I'm gonna follow your breath like this in this direction, and at the end we pull like that, okay? Okay. It's gonna be okay. This one's slightly more aggressive than the other ones. Yeah, it's a little aggressive. That's okay, we're gonna get through it. Good, I like that. Okay, deep breath in, and out. Good, keep your teeth together. Just breathe through your nose. Oh. Oof. Oof. Breathe. Take your time. Did you feel it all the way down? Yeah. Can like to here. Yeah. Yeah. Did I spit in your face? Oof. Wow. That one was like really crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel now. How does it feel? Like a new woman. Oof. Wow. 
Currently, I have this one spot right here on my shoulder. Yeah. They, I was told it might be a muscle, but it's literally right here and it's on both sides. Okay. I have uh, a lot of pain in my back usually. It's usually in my lower back. My mid back's usually okay. The only time I would say I do is like right here. Cause I think that this side sticks out more than this side does. Right. When I'm sleeping, sometimes I can't lay on my left side because it feels like it's jabbing me. I would say, like I said, all of my tension and like pain is definitely in my upper shoulder, back, neck area. Do you get headaches? A lot. But I usually feel it like in my temples or like in the back of my head. It's like usually all this. All right, looking at the feet first, heel strike, mid stance, and toe off. Maybe a slight eversion on each side, but bilateral and maybe slightly more on the right, eversion of the foot. Good, from the knee down, I don't see any genuvalgum, no genuvarum, no knock knee, no bow leggedness. It looks somewhat symmetrical. The left hip is swinging internally. Looking at the hip swing, you can definitely see that left hip moves outward, more lateral out to the left versus the right. So there's like a hitch, it's like a, one of these. All right, looking at the shoulder height, we've got a high left whole shoulder. Can't tell the mass story from here, but probably, I can't tell. It definitely changes in the lumbar spine here and becomes very cold and moist. It's warm here and symmetrical on both sides. This is like very top of the scapula where the muscles are the most active. These trap muscles, rhomboids, levator scapula. All these neck shoulder muscles are on fire right now. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely some muscular things happening up here and where what you described earlier, where it hurt on the outside edge of your yeah, shoulder blade. Yeah, it's literally right where you're at, yep. Mm. So this is a rib. Yeah, they told me that it was a rib. Is it like that on this side? See, it is, but it's not as intense yeah. as it is on the left side. Like that spot right where you're at, yeah. that's where I'm always in pain and I couldn't tell if it's a pinched nerve or if it's a mm -hmm. muscle spasm, but mm -hmm. I have like shooting pain that like trails down my back and up my shoulder Okay. from that spot. Okay, very good. I mean, you, you have rib torque, so your entire rib cage needs to be adjusted. Yeah. You have a high left shoulder, so that means your rib cage is torqued up this way. Left, right, these feel the same, left, right. The right feels more aggressive to me. Okay, lower SI. Right, left. They feel about the same. Okay. L5, not too bad, that's nice and bouncy, moving, good. Good, open, close, open, close. No more open. Close. There's more movement on the right side here. You can even see on your dermals here how the one is higher than the other. Because mm -hmm. did. They, they marked them on the dimples of your SI joints. You can feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings, okay? All right, sliding up to the bottom of the glute fold. It's lower on the left. Good, and then looking from the top. That looks even. There's no internal or external rotations. Nice and gentle. There's no curvatures here. The rib cage is elevated on the left side versus the right but not with a curvature. Any pain, discomfort, tension here? No. Any pain, discomfort, tension here? Slightly. Tender? A little bit. Tender? Yeah. Tender? A little bit. Tender? Yeah. L5. Good. Tender? Discomfort? A mm, little bit. Pressure? Like I said, I can just feel it on my core. Okay, front still. All right, let's do this. Lift your right leg up in the air. Like that? Yeah, down. Left. Down. Which one was more difficult? Uh, down. Do it again. Down. I think it's the right one. Okay, so we come down to the first coccyx segment here. First, we'll check the left. Tenderness? Mm, a little bit. Tender? Yeah. Tender? A little bit. Tender? No. Here's the most, right? Mm-hmm. 
All right, so we're going to contact this fiber. There's a lot of nerves here, so we can activate the reflex. I'm going to contact the occiput at the top. Okay, recheck. Still tender? No. It's better, right? Mm -hmm. It's pretty wild, right? How about this one up here? Is this one still tender? Yeah. Okay. All right, nice. Gentle breathing. All right, we're gonna start right in the middle, okay? Take, let's do, let's practice one so I can feel your spine while you're breathing. You're gonna take a deep breath in, in and out. Good, I'm gonna follow your breath down like this. Good, Sh gentle, gentle. I felt that one. One more time, breathing, sinking. Good, letting it all sink, 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 sink in. Good. Oh, nice. Right or left, which is more tender. It's the right side. Left, right, left, left right. Because that means this segment here is going to the left and superior. Okay, that means we're going to do a counterclockwise correction. Nice, gentle breathing. We're going to come up just a little bit like that. Okay, you're breathing. As you breathe out, we're going to bring your shoulders in this direction like that. I'm going to bring your hip down like this mm -hmm. and then push like that, okay? We're going to push into here. Shoulders. Hey, your back. Do you ever crack your own back? No, I'm not. I can't crack my own back. Okay. Like no one can crack my back right. normally. We're gonna bring this like this just a little bit. Good. Bend the top leg here. Bottom leg is straight. Good. Okay. Same thing. You're gonna stretch your shoulders like that. We're gonna bring your hip down here. Good. We're gonna adjust right here on the SI. Good breathing. Good and out. Let the shoulders relax. Let the hips relax. Good. Let this come up. Good. A little bit more. All right, this is how we check where the neck needs to be adjusted. Right, still short. Go ahead and turn your head to the right. Back to center. Left. Center. Bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Center. Left ear down to your shoulder. Center. It's gentle. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Oh boy. Okay, nice, gentle sinking. Good, is that one right there? Got shoulders sinking in, good. Mm. Sounds crazy. Sphincter, this is empty too. Let's just feel. This is actually, you get bloated. 
A lot. Yeah. Why is it bloated? This is tense right here. It's so. That's what I was feeling when you're on my back. That's what I felt the most. Your stomach. Okay. Okay. You know how to belly breathe? Do it again. Keep going. See, when you use your diaphragm to breathe, when you belly breathe. Okay, put your hands up. Let's get right there. I'm gonna use this towel to support your neck. You okay if I do that? Okay, we're gonna go like this, and then this here. Okay, you're breathing. As you breathe out, we're gonna follow your breath like this, and at the end we pull like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give it a try. Nice, gentle breathing. Just keep your teeth together. Good. Following the breath out. Follow. We'll follow the next one out. Good. Shoulders and hips sinking into the table, letting it all go. Ow. Shoulders and hips. Ow. Where? On my hip. Okay, breathe, breathe it out. Usually I have like really bad mobility in my neck. So the fact that I can like kind of look like an owl and turn my head around is good. Um, definitely feel it in my shoulders for sure. Because like I said, I can't really there's like always like really bad tension like right here especially like i always feel this one the worst but it's definitely way better than when i first came in like i could feel like that stinging pain i don't feel it as much But you've been to a chiropractor before. I have, yeah. Okay, tell um, me about that. I just really went because like I guess my sister was going um, and she said it just brings like your body balance and stuff yeah. like that. How do you feel when you get adjusted versus when you're not getting adjusted? Um, I feel, well, I feel like I, I don't know, just when I go work out and stuff, things are more balanced when I'm squatting or, um, I know it's kind of weird too, but almost breathing better too. It's more of like a breath of fresh air. I just think I do have bad posture. Like you right now are sitting up straight and I don't, I just don't think my posture is the best ever. Your posture looks great I don't right know now. if that's a mm -hmm. um, muscle thing though, or, you know, so. It's a, it's a, it's multiple things. So posture is just always a decision that you're making in the moment. So you're doing fine. Your posture is fine. All you have <laughs> to do is stay present. I had Wolf Parkinson's white. Okay. Um, so it was caught. So I had, it's like a extra pathway. Mm -hmm. um, I just got a catheter ablation done in September. Mm -hmm. So essentially they go through the groin area and they cauterized um, where it was coming from. Um, so with that, I was getting a lot of PVCs. All right, uh, looking at the feet first, heel strike, mid stance, and toe off are symmetrical. The hip swing from left to right, it looks symmetrical. I don't see any, uh, I don't see any deviation. And then looking at the mastoid, we have a right lateral flexion. The shoulder height here, we had a high right shoulder in the hallway. Good, this is the bottom of the scapula here, so we definitely have a high right shoulder. Tender right there. Yeah. Uh, right side is it, is it as, not as tender okay. upper left SI joint any tenderness here mm, mildly possibly what about I don't this know. right side does it feel like that no definitely more on the left okay bouncing through the spine here just checking the range of motion the joint play got very good flexibility here you're very strong you can feel your muscles are very toned good when we come up into the when we get to the mid thoracic here this is that one segment that this one's definitely not moving quite as much. Okay. Tracing up to the top of the glute fold, slightly lower on the right, which means your right hip is back like that. Okay, make your toes even. Even okay. at your toes as best as you can. Okay. Like so that they're, yeah. Okay, perfect. Perfect. 
Okay, now looking at the glutes from the top view, and so the right glute is out like this a little bit. Okay. And so that tells us that the right one is possibly turned out or the left one is turned in. Okay, let your arms relax here. I'm just gonna check for hypertonicity. But there is a little bit more of a hypertonic right glute muscle here, especially these, as soon as we get out here at glute medius glute. Okay, right is showing up as a short leg. Go ahead and push your legs against my hands out. Push them out? Yeah, push them out. Good, push, push. Good, relax. Very close to even. I'm going to bend your knees now. Okay. Good, right short on the bend. Do you have any pain, discomfort, tension when I push here? No. Pain, discomfort, tension here? No. Good, all five. Pain, discomfort, tension here? Um, it doesn't feel comfortable, I guess. How about L4 here? No. Okay, more tender on the right or left here? The right. Good, right, tender. How about one or two, which is more tender? Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. I feel like they're pretty equal, to be honest. Equal? Yeah. yeah. Okay, one. They're both like tender, though. Yeah. Two. Oh, yeah, um, left. Left. So yeah. this is that upper SI joint on the left that was tender when you were seated. Down. Left, good down. Okay, right lumbar is firing. Let's do this. Lift the right leg up again as high as it can go. Okay, as high as it can go. Good down. Okay, left. Down. Okay, was one side easier than the other? I believe the left is easier than the left. Oh, that feels awesome. Nice and gentle. Deep breath in. And out. Good. Sinking in. Following the shoulders. Sinking. Good. Shoulders. Sinking in. Good. Good. And let the shoulders sink as you breathe out. Okay, this is how we adjust the low back. So we're going to pull this shoulder out just a little bit like this, that's good. We're going to bend the top leg, bottom leg is straight. Good, I'm going to stretch your shoulders up like this and your hip down like this. Okay. And then we're going to pull push like that, okay? Yep. Okay, breathing. Take a deep breath in and out. Good, shoulders and hips sinking in. Good. Oh, on your back. All right, so this side, same thing. Shoulders up this way, hip down like this. Then we're gonna push like that, okay? Okay, okay let's try it. Deep breath in. Good, end out. Gonna bring down just a little bit more. Good. Oh, that one was good. Lay your back. Okay, left short again. That's consistent. This is how we check the neck. Go ahead and turn your head to the right. Turn your head to the right. Okay. Back to center. Good. Turn your head to the left. Back to center. Okay, bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Back to center. And bring your left ear down to your shoulder. Good, back to center. So 
we have bilateral SI joint, or excuse me, we have bilateral upper cervical. Laterality is on the right, and you had a right lateral flexion, which is the posterior mass. So All you have to do is sink in with your breath. Good. As you breathe out, we'll follow it like this and give a little push. Okay. Ready? Yep. Nice, gentle breathing. Let it out gently. Very good. The head and shoulders sink in. Let it all loose. Good. Hold on. I'm going to breathe in again here. Very good. Good sink again. Okay. I think that was good, right? Yeah. No pain. Good breathing. Good. Good. Gentle sinking. Good. Good. The head drop in, shoulders drop. That was good. I like that. So we're going to do an ankle adjustment now. For this one, I pull in this direction like that, okay? Push out. Push, 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 push. Okay, relax. Okay, hold your knees together. Hold them together as hard as you can. Okay. Hold them. Hold. Good. Was that you? Did you crack? Yep. Okay. Okay, so this starts with the ileocecal valve, okay? So the ileocecal valve is where the large intestine meets the small intestine. Okay. We locate it by first finding your belly button. Yours is there. Front of the hip, ASIS, is here. We connect these two points. This is where we start looking for the ileocecal valve. Okay, you said you ate this morning? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not here yet. So it hasn't passed from the one into from the large into the, from the small into the large. But it should be a little bit tender, right? Mm -hmm. Good, but yours is clear right now. That's good. Okay, next is the pyloric sphincter. This is two inches above the belly button. We're just here, so you ate not too long ago, so this is a little bit more active. It's tender. Oh yeah, that's tender. A little bit of tension here. Hold on, we almost got to Keep breathing into your belly. Okay, one more deep belly breath. And out. Gotta keep counting. Do another belly breath. Good. Okay, it's supposed to be tight. Don't worry. It's only gonna last for a second, okay? Okay. Okay, you're good. You're doing great. I'm gonna use the towel. You're okay with that? Yeah, that's good. Okay. This is just like the other adjustments. So I'm just going to pull in this direction as you breathe out. And then when we get to the end, we pull like that. Okay, it's okay to be nervous. All you have to do is breathe. Deep breath in. Good. And then sinking in. Shoulders and hips. Everything letting go into the table. Very nice. Pulling gently. Oh. That wasn't terrible, right? No. Did you feel it all the way down? Yes, I did. <laughs> Till my tailbone. <laughs> Good. Yeah. See, you did it. Okay, how does it feel? Feel good. Feel. Feel. Yeah, I feel balanced. I guess that's the proper word. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you're looking for, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Good. How's the neck? Is it is it sore out there a little bit? I guess not sore at all. Yeah, it just feels a little different. I don't know how to explain it though. Yeah, let's just relax. Okay. Here, push. Okay. Ooh, I like that. Okay, right side push. Good. Ooh, I don't. That's different. <laughs> 